Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've just recently started playing around with more colors to maybe do some printing someday and help out some printers. And I kind of started drawing a coffee cup and made it look pretty realistic to me. So I thought I'd share with you how I did that. There's a couple of ways you could do it. Probably the easiest is just go to underneath your polygon flyout, get your common shapes and get this cylinder drawer right here and just draw you a cylinder. And I originally didn't like the way it was kind of squinched up um, and everything. So I just thought I'm just going to draw my own um, with the rectangle tool. And if you make your rectangle a even number across the width, let's make this one eight inches. And then you can do more with the circles and stuff. And we need to put a little bit of a bevel on the cup. So I'm going to draw a eight inch oval and just make it eight inches. And then it'll be the same size as my cup. And then I can use this for the base. And you just need to make sure it's, you know, probably the easiest thing to do is go right there to the midpoint, make a duplicate of that, go up to the top and make sure it's in the midpoint. That way you, when you uh, delete it, now my cup's way too tall, but we can take away that line and we can take away these two lines because that's all we need. Now we can actually take the pick tool and grab them both and just kind of squinch them up more like a coffee cup. And it kind of gives it a better look anyway. And then to draw the handle, I did not draw it in this order, but I, this is the way I would do it now. I just drew the handle and started, um, if you unlock your ratio right here, you can go like one inch and one inch on the bottom and you've kind of got your handle. And then you can do it now or later, but you can actually skew the handle up a little bit. Now what you can do is you can actually take the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. And now this is one object and we're gonna make it something thicker than a, uh, a hairline. So we're gonna go 36 points, which might not be enough. So let's make it 55 points. And then go to object, convert outline to an object and then it'll left click. We'll go and do red since we're doing red. And you can kind of see our skew is, whoop, our skew is kind of off a little bit on the handle with that, you know, no fear there. Just take your handle and just move it in a little bit. Then I'll take the virtual segment delete key and delete those two lines. That way all this becomes one piece. I'm actually going to use the same color as my first cup. I'm going to get the interactive fill tool and go that blue and fill that in. There's part of our cup. Now on the top, I made it black. So just fill that in with black and there's your cup. And then to get this kind of like a reflection shadow to it, that adds a lot if you look at the difference between these two, uh, take a rectangle and just any anywhere in here, just draw a rectangle and then fill that rectangle in with white and right click, take away your outline. Then go to bitmaps and convert that rectangle to a bitmap color bitmaps okay it doesn't matter then go to effects creative vignette and look what it did and then you can play around with this you know you can do it more or less you know reflection you can make the fade bigger or smaller and really spend some time and then you can always move it wherever you want it on the cup to wherever you think it should be that looks pretty real now on this. I add a little bit more. I, I put a white outline around it and then I made it something other than a hairline. Let's go a little bit thicker. And then I actually took the, so if you'll click off that and click back on it and use the interactive fill tool and, and just hit that black and go up to down. Now we actually need to reverse this. So we'll just turn this over and then move this up. And that makes it, well, no, it's exactly opposite what I want to do. I want to turn it this way because I want it to be darker down low and wider, lighter up top. And you could play around with that till you get something you like. And if that doesn't look pretty, well, I think my first cup's actually better 
a little bit better of an angle, but that's neither here nor there. Now on the blue part of the cup, I made a shadow, so I went to the shadow tool and just draw a shadow. And, you know, we learned the other day, if you hold down the shift key, you can get, you know, perpendicular. And then you can play with that shadow, uh, you know, as much as you want. You can always go back to the shadow tool. You know, you can have it darker or lighter. You know, just give a little bit of a shadow. And if you look, I mean, look at the, the handle shadow. I like my cup first cup better. It's a little bit of a different angle. I don't know if we could do anything with it now. Um, we could probably group it together, control G, double click on it and, and skew it down. No, it's not gonna work. It's a, uh, well, you, you could change it quite a bit, but you're not gonna make the cup uh, look any different. Let's see if we can't just squash it up a little bit more. There we go, a little shorter coffee cup. Anyway, kind of a fun project. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.